the truth is black men culturally are the only ones that really expect their women to help them pay bills i know you lying to me ma'am i don't know if you ever been to a chinese restaurant but the whole family be in there Ming Lee be in the front taking orders Pops be in the back, make sure that rice and rat come out fast. Junior makes sure everything's stocked up. And the daughter taking orders. You ever been to one of the Mexican restaurants? The whole family working from the daddy on down to little junior. Just go stop by your little corner store today. Do that. Stop by the little corner store. You're going to see daddy behind that wall taking, the, taking that money while Ming Lee is walking around making sure ain't nobody stealing from them. For the life of me, I can't understand why some women be wanting men to take care of all their life responsibility. You're a grown woman. If you're doing bad, just say that. And all you got to offer... It's some sex. And half of y'all ain't even good at that. But what makes it so bad is y'all want to get to the point where 50-50 ain't good enough, but 70-30 still ain't good enough. 80-20 ain't still ain't good enough. I don't know what's up. Hey, man, do me a favor. Push the like to follow button. Help me run these dumbers up like somebody would have stole a credit card. <laughs> ain't no way y'all are going to help me out. There it is. There you go. Talk OG ain't lying, man. I'm gonna tell y'all some real shit. The dude that cuts my grass, right? His name is Wayne, bro. He's an older black guy. I would say, if I had to guess, uh, probably in his late 50s, early 60s. And his wife, probably around the same thing. But here's the, it's the trip part, right? They talk about only black men uh, expect a woman to go half and half and all this kind of stuff, right? Whole time, this dude got a white woman. And, you know, I had a conversation with him. I said, how y'all came about this business? And guess what? They said it was the wife idea. It wasn't even like the husband dragged her along type shit. She was like, we should start a lawn care service. And 20 some years later, they still doing it. You know what I'm saying? They got hella yards. They got too many yards to even cut themselves. They have to hire somebody else, bro. And this is a white woman with a black man. She out there cutting grass with this dude. Then you got women like this who saying all this dumb shit. And I love the point that he had about the Chinese restaurant. Any one of y'all from New Orleans that live in the East, right? They got this Chinese restaurant on Lake Forest. Man, the exact same scenario he just said. You got you got the wife um, taking orders. I mean, you got the daughter taking orders. You got the mom doing such and such. The dad in the back, you know, cooking everything, getting it together. Hey, you go to the Mexican restaurants, man. I'm talking about the real ones. It's family. The food trucks and stuff like that, man, that's family. It's women working in there. I even see women working on roofs. But here we go. It's, it's, it's us black men who ain't shit. But every other nationality of men, it seems like they women get it out the mud with them. <laughs> I'm just saying, they out there getting the work done. All that complaining shit ain't going to get y'all nowhere. I don't understand men that live with women that they don't trust. I don't understand men that live with women that they hide money from. Why you got her? My wife got to know where everything at in case something happened to me. Because I can't get to it. Right. And I can't be on the phone trying to tell call you and yeah. tell you <laughs> where shit is at. Hey, you got to go to Terry House. What the fuck? Look, me and Terry, just go to Terry House. Tell Terry you need that for me. You know how hard it's going to be to get that shit from Terry? Oh, he ain't got nothing over here. I ain't got nothing. What he talking about? Boy, Boy came in. Got that shit. Boy, look here. Boy, 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 yeah, man, real talk. I don't care if you're a street dude. I don't care if you're a nine to five guy, corporate America. I don't give a damn what you are, bro. It really don't make no sense to live with a woman that you can't trust, that you don't trust. It don't make no sense to be around people you don't trust. Now, now, let's be real now. It's a, it's a lot of people I got to be around because I just got to be around them, but I don't trust them niggas and they will never know where I live unless they stalk me or something. I'm not showing up straight up. But guys, this really remind me of something Juvenile said in this song. I will play it for you, bro. Cause Ju he said, bro, what, what, what if I get jammed up? Bro, she got to know where the bread at and everything. But Juvie was on some pimp shit on this song. Let me play this little ball for y'all. And you don't touch my shit. You don't drive my shit. I got dope in my house. And I hide my shit. Yeah. Hey, bro, Juvie was talking that shit. Hey, bro, listen. Say, bro, real talk, bro. New Orleans, some grimy dudes when it come to women. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. All this stuff that y'all see these new rappers do, the rappers that I grew up listening to, yeah, Tim Smooth, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Joe Black and all them old school rappers, boy, they used to talk about pimping them, bro. They ain't talking about sipping and shit like that. Hell no, bro. Juvie said, let's say I'm in a room with a bitch and a bitch don't want fuck like a man, I'm gonna beat my... And get my fucking nut for sure. She gonna be drove in. I <laughs> see we was hey, New Orleans dudes, dog. I'm telling you, bro. Some of the grimiest niggas when it came to the women, dog. But nah, bro. 
I just wanted to play that for y'all. Y'all need to go listen to that old school stuff because them new rappers be having y'all on some simp shit. They got you, they rap about things that that's really not cool to do, bro. <laughs> Straight like that, bro. I built every single man up that I've ever been with, baby. All right. When they leave me, they're in a much better Pause. position than when they got with so, me. And that's a so fact. The very last man you was with, how long was that relationship? Three and a half years. When you met him, was he a millionaire? No. When you left him, was he a millionaire? No. You ain't made nobody nothing. A lot right. of these women talk about what they could do for a man and how good they are. Y'all ain't made nobody that's nothing. Because a lot of y'all have an overinflated ego. You're not bringing nothing to the table but problems, attitude, and taint, tarnished, and zesty coochie. Bye. <laughs> I don't so know check your attitude. Is. No, check your attitude. Hey, not only is the dude not in a better position that he was in before he met her, the crazy part is this. She bragging about them not being together no more, bro. You know what I'm saying? Evidently, you're not that good of a girlfriend or whatever you were to these people. Because if you were, y'all would still be together. And and notice she didn't say that, you know, they were cheating, being toxic and stuff like that. She didn't say any of that. So it would lead one to believe that she's definitely the problem. And... You need to go ahead and get that checked out, bro. Like, no millionaires were made. No successful men were made. These niggas are the same. The only thing that's different is that they can't stand to be around your ass no more. That's it. <laughs> that's, I mean, you can't you can't cut it no other way. That's what it is. Straight up, man. You was a placeholder. He might went on and found another, another woman that's way better than you because now he knows what to look out for and the traps and stuff not to fall for. Yeah, man, y'all got to be careful when y'all bragging about this kind of stuff that sounds crazy coming out of woman's mouth every man i mess with is doing better now now that he ain't with me damn so that's the recipe don't be with her that's crazy what you getting to right now the fact that i didn't tell you or nah, you're, not you're just you're just lying out here telling me all types of crazy man I saying was bartending you, bartending and then you I was stripping. bartending so yes. when, when did you start stripping? it doesn't matter it What's does matter right now? my point is i don't me? like what because for this reason, you told me you was bartending. To come to find out, you not bartending. Okay. Mm. What's your point? What do you mean? What's my? What are you? You a show? Okay. I don't want my daughter around that. I want my I daughter. Sometimes. Nah, nah. Okay, sure. But that, that still ain't good enough for me. I don't want my daughter being a. I don't want her looking. No she's well, you, been around me, so what does it matter? You might Nothing be friendly. You might be doing all types of stuff that I don't know. Nothing has this, changed. This right here is, is this already about me and you or about your daughter? Oh, this is about... I'm a great role model for her. Are you? I am. You lying. You saying you're you, a bartender. Not your daughter. That's crazy, though. But you saying you're a bartender, just not being a bartender. I am still a bartender. You out here I'm for some of everybody. It doesn't matter. My homeboy see you, bro. What you talking about? Okay. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. I just don't understand why you... See... This is why you got to pick what type of partners you deal with, bro. Because I'm out here with a habitual liar. She out here telling me she bartending, she doing this and the third. Yeah, she's serving. She's serving people like on stage serving. You know what's crazy? I know a dude that kind of was in this situation. Like, real life, man. Found out the girl that he uh, deal, deal with is a stripper. But she told him she was like a bottle girl or something like that. And to turn, come to find out she was a full-blooded stripper. And she was selling it in the club, man. You know what I'm saying? You're coming in there with a couple extra ones, you can get some. You know what I'm talking about? She'll do something strange for a little piece of change, bro. That nigga was hurt behind that, man. And you would think he'd be really upset at the fact that, damn, old girl dirty, she might have gave you something. Nah, he was just upset that she ain't tell him about it. And I said, man, I got to stop being cool with this dude because he, he, he got a funny way of looking at things. <laughs> hey, this shit was crazy, though. We talking about a long time ago, man. I don't even talk to that dude no more. I couldn't tell you where he at, what he up to, if he got a new girl, if he ever got back with that girl. I couldn't tell you. I don't know, but I just know dude was distraught. He was definitely hurt about it. But I can see any man being upset at this. You don't become no stripper without telling your man. That's what we do that at. And then who who wants a stripper around their kids? So much she's a good role model. Ma'am, I'm going to tell you something, bro. Certain types of jobs will teach you bad habits. And I know for a fact, working in a strip club, you're going to pick up some bad habits. Because if you work in a bar and ain't no stripping going on, you're going to pick up some bad habits for the most part. If you're working in sales and stuff like that, man, it's certain type of jobs that, like, the people who work there, bro, they definitely love to have fun and do all kind of wild shit. Like, car salesmen, them niggas love to party hard, bro. Restaurants like servers and bartenders, they drink a lot. They go to bars every day after they shift, dog. I'm telling you, I live the life, bro. 
You don't want to know what type of habits these strippers is picking up and then coming home and putting that in front of your chip. Man, listen, bro. You're a whole rockhead if you continue with that relationship. If I want to go off, I say I'm going out with my guys at 9 p.m. Yeah. I'm going to get in the house when I get home. Not no 6 in the morning, 5 in the morning. Yeah, I'm talking about I'm going to get home probably time. like around like, okay. Go have fun. If I go to a bar, mm -hmm. right, bar close at 2. I'm yeah. going to get home at 2.30. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, see, you know that's, see, that's what I'm saying about my time, man. See, yeah, I, this guy you know, here, when, when oh, I would shout out my boy, son. hey, shout out my boy Aaron, man. It's a minimum 5 a.m. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, yeah. 5 a.m. Yeah, extravaganza. Foul, you foul, dog. <laughs> I know. I know. That's what I'm hey, saying. Yeah, Look, tell you, he, he bogus for he that. Sit, bro, one thing I pride myself on is being real and keeping it real, dog. Now, for me, I ain't going to do nothing that I wouldn't want my girl to do straight up. If I wouldn't want my girl coming in the crib at 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, I'm not going to do that, man, because I wouldn't even have a real leg to stand on if I did that. And then I believe in leading by example, bro. Real talk. I don't believe in that do as I say and not as I do. Nah, bro. If you a leader, right, lead the relationship, man. Come home. That way, if you come home early and one day she don't come home early like she's supposed to, you got every reason, every right to crash the fuck out. <laughs> Straight up. Because I don't play with you like that. I'm somebody child. That's what I pride myself on doing. Keeping it real, man. Five o'clock in the morning. I right, bet. See, a lot of y'all dudes be trying to run dictatorships and that shit blow up in your face, man. Next thing you know, your girl getting bust up because she resents you for being a dictator. I'm telling you, man, a lot of dudes, women cheat on them because they hate y'all. Ain't even just because they just unsavory creatures, bro. Some dudes or ladies hate them, bro, because they do so much foul shit to the point where they just want to get over on you one time, man, just to feel like they can take a little piece of you. And they'll let you find out they cheated on you because that's what they want. They want to hurt you because you've been hurting them so much. I ain't trying to be on no sim shit, y'all, but, man, I'm telling y'all from experience, man. Like, I, I know some women that'll get their back blew out just to hurt their nigga because they got the, the most foul nigga ever in the world. Like, I'm talking about he made, man, this dude make Stevie J look good. You know, he stay cheating on whoever them women is. I just know he'll, he'll stay. Yeah, I have children. How many of you are married yet? Not me. I was. But no, I was. How many of you are married yet? No. Okay, so we have three black women here with kids that are all unmarried, right? Right. Never, was, okay, one was married, so mm. okay. But none of them are married, and they're talking about community. They're talking about family, talking about black men. You couldn't even stay with the black men that you built your family with. How dare you? How dare you? Shame on you. But guess what? Guess what? No. Guess what? Guess what? No. I'm single. No. Because I'm single. I haven't got any I'm kids. I haven't created any broken no. homes. I haven't got a no, no, no. no, because, and this is the difference. You wouldn't come a shame black no, no. man. But most black men are actually single and childless. But women, or the majority of you, have kids with men. That's wonderful. You with them, then you expect other men to go and raise them. Then you it's... come and try to shame us. How Nasty ass bitch. It's actually okay. It's actually okay, but when you Hey look, I ain't trying to bash women, black women at all, bro. But I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, man. If you take a real inventory of all of the black men, grown up black men and grown black women, if you keeping it real, most of those women got kids and, and a lot of those I ain't gonna say most, but a lot of those men don't. Like I'm thinking about right now, I ain't gonna name drop my partners, but I'm gonna call him by the nickname Emo, no kids, 30 plus, and he and I know why he don't got kids. The nigga don't want him at all. He's extra careful. My dog Steezy, no kids. Sell it, no kids. You know what I'm saying? Who else? Peasy, no kids. Bezo, no kids. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, none of these dudes got kids, man, and they don't want none right now. Straight up. But when I start thinking about women, I know. Yeah, man. I do know a lot of women who don't have no kids. But I know way more men who don't have kids, man. I'm going to keep it real with y'all, bro. It's a whole bunch of grown single men with no kids. And they get called every name but a child of God for being just that. And they flex with it. I'm glad I don't got no kids. Man, boy, listen. A lot of dudes don't have kids, man. Y'all just don't know, man. Y'all earning potential is just so crazy because you don't have no responsibility other than yourself, bro. Y'all need to be hustling y'all ass off. Hey, my man, what do you do for a living? <laughs> and best part of your job? Getting home, taking care of my family every day. That's man. what's well, up. All UPS drivers say the same thing when I ask them. I don't know. That's that's part of the script. I don't even have a family. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no kids, bro. <laughs> First thing that comes to mind is that.
Yo, you're a good actor. You're in the wrong career. Hey, man, you never know. Because you had me sold. I'm 27. You never know where, where, where You're 27? Yeah, man. I look older, don't I? Yeah. It's the job. That boy don't look boxes. a day over yeah. 37. <laughs> Yo, you're in the wrong career, man. You got to go to Hollywood ASAP. You got the face for it, too. I might make that transition one Bro, day. Bro, I'm going to post you, and I'm going to be like, what's your name? Sean. Hey, some of these sign Sean ASAP, man. He's got to make it to Hollywood ASAP. Exactly. You'll be good. Exactly. I'll see you. Say, bro, you know what's crazy? Anybody who makes deliveries, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. If they do, if they do Uber Eats, if they UPS, FedEx, they work for the post service, bro. That shit will put years on you that you ain't even lived yet. I ain't lying to you, bro. Old boy said he was 27, and I said he don't look a day over 37. Real talk, man. Some of these jobs be stressing y'all out, man. 25 years old with grades sticking out all in your bed and stuff, bro. Y'all can't let these jobs stress you out, man. Real talk, man. Some of us ain't got no choice, though. You got to get it. I ain't going to lie to you. Some niggas just got to get it. But if you can, man, just try to see life for what it is. You're only here for a short time, not a long time. You know what I'm saying? Live your life, bro. A job ain't all that life is about. You know, I know it's that four-letter word that we both love and hate, but we, we got to do it. But, bro, you got to find balance, though. Real talk. I believe that these jobs is killing y'all early, bro. Real talk, man. I know mine was getting out of work at 3 o'clock in the morning and then going to the bar with my coworkers and drinking and then waking up in the next four hours and do it all over again. I probably would look like I was 27 right now if I never worked all them years in the restaurant, man. You got to find balance, dog. Real talk. She, she like that. won't. She <laughs> want me. She want me. She want me. See the dude just vibing, bro. He just going out there spreading good energy, bro. Putting out positivity, if you will. A little love. That's it. Nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Man, where he at, dude? Everybody got on cowboy hats. That's my sister. Hey, that's crazy. All of them passed the vibe check, man. Real talk. They must didn't run into the ultra, ultra delusional women that we usually come across on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Because they'd be like, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, like he a creep or something. Dude just trying to pass out vibes, man. That's all, bro. I like that little video, dog. So when you're with them, their phone is turned over. But when you flip it over, something. it's still on do not disturb. Time to move on. And you're just cool with that. We do not care. Okay. You're cool with that. No, duh. Hey, man, I couldn't help but notice that kind of stuff whenever I used to bartend or whatever. You see a couple sitting down at the bar, and it never fails, man. A woman turns her phone over. Sometimes a man, a lot of times a man do too, right? So both of them ain't up to no good. They Basically, bro, if that phone always turned over, and the notifications always turned off and no things come across the screen at all bro she hiding something or he hiding something man you don't never hear nothing bro if i'm gonna tell you what bro real talk if it sound like this is something you've been through with your girl this is what you do man just call her why you next to her and see what the phone do if the phone don't do nothing bro you know what it is man i would say this man go through the phone later on the night when she um when she when she uh, go to sleep. But here's the thing, man. I want you to eat a good meal. I want you to feel full. Because you might not eat for the next couple of days, dog. I ain't going to lie to you. You might not eat for the next couple of days, man. Oh, or, or, let's say you be working out and stuff and you bulking. And you want to you want to start your cut early. <laughs> this is a good way to go right here, goddammit. Boy, you're going to be in a calorie deficit. I promise you that much.